to my channel so i know you guys are like okay where's your wig at okay so i did get a request from a couple of my subbies recently and i know i've gotten this request in the past so i definitely need to um needed to do this type of video now this video is just going to be a wig review also it's going to be basically just kind of showing you how i put on my wigs i don't know if i just assume that most people know how to put on a wig but everybody's not like super experienced on wigs so I definitely wanted to show you basically my routine on how I put on my wigs and how I prep my hair for wigs so right now um if you've been watching my previous videos you know that I got my natural hair straightened so I didn't want to braid my hair again okay so I basically have my hair wrapped under here and yeah um I had the wig that I'm going to be showing you is a right side part so I parted my hair already to the right and I kind of got my baby hairs kind of prepped. So what I use for my baby hairs is just um, my 24-hour even edge control. And this is in the Ultra Mega Hold. I think that one works the best for me. Um, and a little bit goes a long way with the even edge control. If you put too much, it will kind of like give you a white film on there. And you really don't want that. So um, definitely um, just use a little bit of that. Also... Um, I suggest wearing a wig cap. Some people tend to not like wig caps just because they are a little tight for some people. Um, for me, if you, for the protection of your hair under a wig, I feel like you definitely need to wear a wig cap. Uh, some people like to wear a flesh tone. I usually wear a black one. Sometimes I wear flesh tones. It really doesn't matter as long as you're protecting your hair under your wigs. Also, I've already cut the lace on this and this is a hard lace unit. So I definitely just prepped my edges with uh, Jamaican castor oil and I just rubbed it in before I put on the 24 hour edge control. Okay, so here it goes. Now, let me tell you what this wig is first. It is sponsored by imahair.com. So I'll leave all the links down below to the wig and their website. Now the wig that I have, find the tag, is by the Newborn Free Collection. This is what it looks like. Um, the tag so it is a um mlc 175 and it's in the color 1b you can put heat on it up to 360 degrees and it has a curved part it does come in all you know these type of colors here but i just ended up getting this wig in a 1b because i wanted to see how it looked when i seen it on the model it looked like something kim kardashian had recently so i just wanted to see what it looked like on me now the construction of this unit is a little weird it only has one comb in the front towards the middle front portion where the bang is and then also it just has a comb in the back with adjustable straps so no combs on the side you guys know i don't really care for the combs anyway so i really don't care about that now the parking space did need some love i did tweeze out that much from the parting space so yeah, just keep that in mind with this wig. And I just added my powder, my face powder. So what I'm going to do, some people put on their wigs like from front to back. I only do that with my um, virgin hair frontal units. But with this, any other wig, I do it from back to front like this. And this is just how I've been putting on wigs forever. So that's just how I like to do it. So that I know that my part is where I want it to be. I'm just going to secure the comb in the back. And I don't mess with the combs in the front at all. Because yeah. They have been known to snatch out your edges. I ain't got time for that. So I'm going to line up my part there. I want it right there. And you can always add a little bit more edge control if you would like. I'm just going to add just a little bit here. So I can get these together. But this is a really, really cute unit. I really do like this. Now this effortless like... Wave. I just freaking love it. It's gorgeous. This is really, really pretty. Now, if you're in a climate where it's still pretty hot where you're at, this is perfect. And I think this can be transitioned into whatever season you're in because this is a really, really pretty unit. I really do like this. 
Now, I would say it's big head friendly because I have my straps crisscrossed in the back. Here's what the wig looks like all the way around. The texture of it is a light yakky texture. It's not silky at all, but it's not super yakky either. It is a really, really pretty unit. I like this. Let me know how you guys feel about this unit down below. It's really, really cute. Now, the luster on it was a little high. I, I am going to have to um, add some uh, dry shampoo to this unit to get rid of that shine. But yeah, other than that, I don't have any complaints about this unit. It's super cute. It's super full. Oh, yes. I like this a lot. So yeah, let me know how you guys feel about this unit down below in the comment section. If you have any questions, leave them down below, down in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't. If it's your first time here, definitely subscribe. I would love to have you a part of the family. And I will see you queens in my next video. I love you guys. Deuces.